Hi everybody, my name is Greg Anderson and there's a little something that's been bothering me for a while and it has to do with math as it's expressed sometimes in advertising and on the news and uh, some phrases that really kind of stand out to me as being unclear. So I wanted to run this by you. So let's take, for example, this phrase. Um, we have four times as much as we used to have. Okay, so mm, I, I think that works okay. What if I said we have four times more than we used to have? Okay, this is where I think it runs into a problem. I think for most people, those two phrases mean the same thing, or they think they do, four times more or four times as much, right? So let's just take, for example, you know, in math, we're talking about the basic functions of math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, right? So when we take our words and convert them to math functions, here's what I come up with. If I say, uh, let's just, we're talking about gallons of milk, for example, okay? So I say I have one gallon of milk, and now I want four times as much, okay? Four times, that that's multiplication. So four times one is four. One gallon of milk, four times as much, means four gallons of milk, okay? What if I say I have one gallon of milk and I need four times more? Well, four times, again, four times one is four. Four times more... Well, now the more means addition, right? So if, if I've got one gallon, I need four times more. You see where I'm going with this? Four times one is four more than one. Four times more. So I, if I say I've got one gallon of milk, I need four times more. Technically, from a mathematical perspective, I'm asking for a total of five gallons of milk by the end of this, uh, whatever my problem that I'm trying to solve. Okay, so if I'm, say, I'm having a party tonight, uh, the refreshments are milk and cookies. I have one gallon of milk, and I tell someone in the family, could you please go to the store? I'm getting the party ready. I need four times more milk than what I have now. I have one gallon, I need four times more. And they come back with four gallons of milk for a total of five now in my fridge. And I say, why did you buy four? I only needed four total. And they said, no, 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 you needed four times more. See what, see what I'm saying? So when I hear news reports talk about four times more, or when I see advertisements and they say four times more, I think, well, this is not the place for this confusing kind of phrasing because, you know, in the news and in advertising, you really need to be precise about your numbers, right? So if they say, um, the, the city council voted to raise taxes by uh, four times more, okay? then what, what does that mean? Well, most people say, well, if I'm paying $1,000 in taxes now, what, I'm gonna pay $4,000? And you know, someone could come by and say, oh, no, no, you're paying $5,000 now. What do you mean? It's four times, it's four times more. So instead of 1,000, they're, they're boosting it four times more up to 5,000. See, you need to be precise about that when you're doing a news report or when you know, government statistics are being, are, are, are being presented, or in advertising. So what happens when you, you know, go to the store and you say, well, this new and improved cleaner is three times more powerful than the old version. Or then you say, well, then I only have to buy uh, you know, one, one fourth as many containers. No, 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 no. We didn't mean three times, we didn't mean four times as much, we meant three times as much. Well, then why did you say three times more? You know, so, all right. I think I'm right about this because, again, you have to convert the words to mathematical functions. Three times means multiplication. Three times as much, you're still just talking about multiplication. But as soon as I say three times more, I'm adding, I'm putting addition onto that equation. So, all right, I'm going to make it even more, uh, more messy, okay? Now, here's another one that I hear that it just, oh, this, this really grates on me. When they say uh, three times less, right? or five times less. <laughs> so, so what does that mean? Well, if I say uh, one third as much, okay, I know what that means. And maybe you think that the phrase three times less means the same thing as one third as much. But let's break that down. One third refers to division. Three times less refers to multiplication and subtraction. There's no division in that. Okay, so let's do a practical example. Let's say you're gonna buy a car and they say, well, you can buy the standard car, it gets 20 miles per gallon, but if you get the hybrid version of that car, it uses three times less fuel. Okay, and you interpret that to mean 
it uses one third as much fuel or meaning if I get 20 miles per gallon on the regular car, I'll get 60 miles per gallon on the hybrid car. That's what you think it means. But the phrasing doesn't say that. Three times less fuel. Let's take for example, you want to go 20 miles, you'll need one gallon of gas to go 20 miles. Now you're going to use three times less, right? So one gallon times three is three gallons. Okay? Three times less, or three gallons less than one gallon, is negative two gallons. So when it's phrased that way, it means that if you drive the hybrid car, it's actually producing gasoline. You drive, <laughs> so you drive 20 miles in the hybrid car, and you have two gallons more gas in the tank than when you started. This would be a car from the movie Tenet, right? That's the, and you have to drive it backwards, and it produces gasoline while you drive. Now, that's ridiculous, but the phrasing actually means, literally, when you convert it to math functions, that's what it means. One gallon to go 20 miles, three times less means go 20 miles and use negative two gallons of gas. Can you imagine? When you say, honey, can I use your car? My, mine's empty and I don't have time to fill it up. That's what you say today. But if you had one of these magical tenant cars, you'd say, honey, I, I got to go. I don't have time. I got to drain the car. Uh, could I use yours instead? Right? I'm, ju I'm just converting the words to mathematical functions. Let's say I'm going to have my, uh, my party with my milk and cookies. And I say, okay, um, the, the party's over. Let's say I started with five gallons, okay? I had five gallons of milk, and at the end of the party, I had five times less than that, okay? So most of us would think it means you started with five gallons, now the party's over, you only have one-fifth as much left. But again, the phrasing did not say that. The phrasing said five times less. So let's do the math. Five gallons is what you started with. Five times that is 25. Now you have 25 gallons less than the five gallons you started with, which means at the end of the party, somehow you ended up with negative 20 gallons of milk. All right. All I'm doing again is taking the literal meaning of the phrases in these advertisements and on these news stories and converting them to actual math functions. And this is what I'm coming up with. I know that we think we know what they mean, but I think it would be so much easier if they just said, for example, with the hybrid car example, uh, <laughs> you drive the regular car, you get 20 miles per gallon. You drive the hybrid car, you get 60 miles per gallon. You use one third as much gas or you can go three times as far on the same amount of gas. This, this means something. Or I think most people are smart enough that if you just said, this one gets 20 miles per gallon, this one gets 60 miles per gallon, people can understand those numbers. Don't put in weird phrases to try and put fractions in there or factors in there that don't actually make sense. This is what I'm hoping would happen with advertisements and news stories rather than using phrases that are just don't make sense, like five times less, just give us the actual numbers. Just say, you know, um, last year we had 100 car accidents on our highways every week, and now it's only one fifth as much, or it's only 20 accidents. You don't even have to say one fifth as much. You say it was 100, now it's only 20. People understand those numbers. You don't have to say five times less, which doesn't make sense. You don't even have to say, uh, one-fifth as many, which does make sense, or you could say an 80% reduction, which does make sense. Well, why not just give the raw numbers? It was 100, now it's only 20. All right, that's my rant. Again, I know there are people out there that are better experts at grammar than I am, and better experts at math than I am, and some of you maybe are experts in both math and grammar. Tell me if I'm wrong. And again, it's not what we all think we understand we're saying to each other. It's what we literally mean with these words. That's my problem. If, if you say, this is five times less accidents on the road, I think you mean it dropped from 100 to 20. But you didn't say it right. I want you to say it right so that I can know with confidence that I understood you right. 
<sighs> okay, there's my rant. Again, check my math, see if I'm wrong. <laughs> And, and I hope you will join me in a much more calm and pleasant episode of some other show I'm going to put on, uh, on this YouTube channel coming up very soon.